गुड मॉर्निंग मॉल मैं ऑडियो Please let me know because I just connected. Okay, fine. Okay, good morning all. How are you all? How are you? So we can. We people try to do the installation. We'll start our class today. So that day we started off with an introduction of a big data. Okay. So today uh, I'll continue with continue with the Hadoop ecosystem, and then we will do the installation. Did you people tried installing that? Did you people go through the slide? I didn't put that uh, video. I think only the PPT I have put. Installation will be easy. It is not like install installation of other uh, components. It is uh, like a configuration only. Okay, we will do that today. So Hadoop Echo, uh, I mean big data. We try to understand on that day. So what is a big data? Is it is a huge volume of a data, which is not in any structured format. So that is the reason a new uh, environment or a new application. Or a new technology is needed to handle the, those amount of huge data, which cannot be handled by the traditional uh, databases. So uh, mainly, this this is a developed. This Hadoop is a developed from by uh, Google. Okay, they come up. Uh, if you remember it uh, earlier, uh, when the search engines were coming up, the Google was the famous one. When Google launched the search engine, it was very famous, and they were using the technology like a parallel computer. You may, if you are a computer science background, there may be electives in your masters like a comp parallel computing. Like, uh, they will have a multiple servers. A server, I say, nodes also we can say. All those are machines. Now we have one single desktop, right? Single desktop with a single CPU. Uh, so that is, it is containing a central processing unit. Okay, that is a server we can say, or multiple nodes. Uh, similarly. Uh, multiple nodes can be present that can be connected that can be asked or that can be connected through an internet and each cpu will do certain tasks okay that, uh, that's how i mean it will do parallelly uh, like uh, one cpu can uh, uh, run one task and another cpu can run the another task it will divide the tasks and run any different emissions okay it will run parallelly in a single cpu you cannot run parallelly okay every time in a single cpu it is always a one task at a time okay just a moment just a moment Okay, sorry for the interruption. Okay, um, 
what I was talking. I was talking about the server side distributor. So what, uh, earlier they may be having a multiple, I mean, little number of a server so where the search will be searching and get retrieving the results of or the user will be lesser. So when later on the uh, searches has increased that people started using more of internet and they are using every everything. Even now we know, right? We, everything, if you want to see whether internet is present, we will go for, we will type only Google and search. So so the number of search queries has increased a huge number uh, which cannot be handled by a single server. What I mean by a single server means it means Google is storing a huge amount of data, right? Uh, if you make a search query uh, for a data, it cannot uh, retrieve the data. They will distribute the data and keep it. They will not save the data in a single server itself. In that cases, then the queries has to be distributed to all the missions. What I mean to say here is I may, can write it. Okay, I'm not connected to that mission. Okay, I'll try. The infrastructure in uh, uh, big data to be followed is the data should be divided in multiple servers because, sorry, it is a huge amount of our data, right? It cannot be present in a single server itself. Say, uh, I have a file of like a thousand MB. Okay, uh, say I'm writing in mouse, so it will be likewise. Please adjust later on, I'll change it. Okay, say for example, this cannot be stored in a single server itself. This is less data I'm talking about since we are talking about a data say in a zeta bytes. You imagine I showed note, let us a thousand par seven. Okay, in par seven, so that many times the data will be there. You cannot store it. No, even, even if you try to store in a single server, it is it is it doesn't make any sense at all. Like um, you cannot run uh, it. You have to write a powerful uh, logic to fetch the data search through all the if it is in a databases if it is in a traditional database search all the rows and uh, columns. In that case, what we what they will do they will divide the data say for example here they will put 100 mb here they will put 100 mb here they will put 100 mb what do you mean what do i mean by 100 mb 100 mb means if i have a text file of 1000 mb and uh, they will divide the text file say for example it is having 1000 lines okay so first 100 lines to be put in first server next 100 lines in the next server and the uh, remaining 100 lines to be present in the remaining server okay so somebody is passing a search query to find uh, mm, uh, some word so meaning for or they wanted to learn uh, Hadoop okay they uh, click of uh, the type of word in the Google search Hadoop okay so what it will do uh, it can be the data can be here also in this first server also it can be in the second server also or it can be in the third server also okay the processing like to find the value for Hadoop the word Hadoop will happen here here and here simultaneously that is what parallel processing I mean to say you you understand right say for example in the thousand lines of uh, text file Hadoop can be in the second in the last portion that uh, uh, the um, information about Hadoop it can it, this may not be meaningful but I'm just to try trying to explain you how it uh, how the processing can be done okay so in that cases they have to uh, Google has to come up uh, with a powerful engine to search the data uh, and distribute the data and search it Okay, what they did is first they have to distribute whatever the data information they, they are having it. They cannot put it in a single server. The main disadvantages is you, um, the, if you put it in a single server, then if that is server crashes, you have to have a replication of that. And the processing of a whole information in a particular machine itself will be long. Processing in the sense, the whole 1000 MB, you put it in one machine and it will go by line by line. Or if you're giving some indexing, I told no, like you can have an indexing, which uh, helps to search, uh, do a faster search. That will be 
uh, longer and it will not be efficient also whereas if it is a distributed architecture it will be easy like each server you can run the processing parallelly and get the results together and you can accumulate the results okay whatever the results which are coming from each of the server that you can accumulate it and give it to the user user means us or the clients so whoever is making the query for this reason they have come up with a google file system okay from which uh, from this only the hadoop or the file system which is nothing but hdfs has come has evolved okay initially google has uh, come up with a google file system this is the distributed file system when i say distributed it means the data or the information which the users are looking for are distributed it will not be present in a single server a single machine or you can also call it as a single node we keep calling it as a node okay it will be distributed among different nodes okay and uh, um, what other thing okay so i just thought of telling you about the hdfs that is the distribution uh, and um, okay another thing is we are talking about a big data i told so big data is like whenever if it is the volume is huge and the rate at which the uh, information is coming from the outside world is faster and the type of the data whether it can be the data can be structured or unstructured or semi structured data and if the there are four v's when if you are going to define about a big data okay uh, velocity velocity and i'll show that in the slide volume and before there is one more thing the other one is not here recently it is there it is about the value also this five v's comprises or tells a data is a big data okay velocity is velocity is the speed okay if you consider about the speed of data which keeps changing in the stock markets or the social media networks those we say uh, we those data we can think of like a big data okay and uh, what will be the difficulty in those type of data analyzing those type of data is like we have to capture those data we have to collect that we have to also process it and we will analyze the data so what what we do with the big data we wanted to arrive at any big business solutions right business solutions means we have to come to a conclusion we have so much of the data with the data what we are going to do we are going to come to a conclusion or use uh, uh, bring uh, get an out so that uh, we will uh, arrive at a business solution and we will apply to our business so that our business will flourish and another one is the volume i told you it is a very huge amount of data okay uh, and uh, like real stream data and all which we are uh, writing you know, on the data which we enter in our whatsapp or facebook or anything is data only so it is very huge a uh, volume and uh, big data is uh, also uh, yeah, data you can also be called if it is varied by the structures okay structures are like semi structured and structured and it can be structured also and it is by the the data will not be clean i think in your machine learning you will be doing some uh, analysis of the data right like a null values and all you will remove it when you are having a data set you take a data set data set and there whenever there are null values that you will remove it to process the data right because null is not going to make any sense likewise so uh, we get unclean data there will be null values there will not be any data at all for that only i told like um, imagine that if they have uh, uh, set a camera uh, in the highways to uh, uh, no they are going to automate a machine okay automate a car okay for automatic we have to we have to learn it no we have to teach it we have to make it as learning like machine learning process has to happen for that we need a set of data like how the drivers are driving the car in the highways when they put brakes how when they reduce the speed all those patterns we know it then only we can train our machine to behave like that 
when you keep the sensors over there or when you keep any machine to capture all this information it will also get have uh, imprecise data we can say or the data which are not related to our uh, uh, machine training itself okay to make our machine learning itself that data will not be useful at all so those data will be uh, unclean also so when you are going to process those data we have to clean that okay and the value is like you have to uh, convert the fifth v is value so converting this all that this type of data is into a uh, meaningful uh, result to bring a meaningful result that will be like a business okay we are only adding a value to the uh, huge volume of a data is the uh, value okay okay is this fine this volume velocity variety and veracity i told that day itself but i thought that i will tell again is this fine so they may ask you what you call is as a big data what is a big data that time you can say a data which is which is having all these characteristics we can call it as a big data i have this okay i have the definition also i think okay this one like a refers to a data set which is too large and too complex for ordinary computing devices to process this we call it as a big data this histories and all you can read it through and what are the four v's or five v's they can ask you can tell all this and each what is the difference okay nowadays the data is in the form of zeta bytes not petabytes petabytes is a little lower than the zeta bytes okay furthermore uh, these are the example so how uh, how how do they do it it says this large amount of a data is present how do we work on that data what they do is they do an, they follow an approach that's what the technology of hadoop came into picture we follow the approach of dividing and conquering the data okay divide the data between different nodes there will be multiple worker nodes they will say okay like multiple servers okay that will process each of your uh, information or each of the query or that will process the data itself data will be present in the worker nodes that will process on the data and give us a proper result say for example if a google is passing a search query over here this you can call it as a in big data how the uh, architecture they uh, used to work is using the master slave architecture okay master slave architecture the master will be receiving the queries or the uh, client requests okay client request means we can be the client we are passing a uh, search query to the master then the master will divide uh, will take that query and send it to each of the worker why we have a, a different workers means say i told like zettabytes of data cannot be present in a single we cannot put it in a single machine it will be put in a different machines okay and uh, after all this uh, processing is done the results will be combined together and give us give us an output to the client okay actually another uh, another another reason why we go for the distributed architecture is um, distributed architecture did you understand right it is a, like a master and many slaves many slaves in the sense many nodes will be there where data will be present in each of these nodes okay and processing will happen everything we will see what is processing how it is happening and all that we will see it in later classes this is the introductory only and here each each node will do a separate processing the results will be combined together and given to the client so this is the distributed architecture okay uh, see if you are going for the traditional databases the server where we store the um, database information that are rows and column information should be uh, available all the time right it should not be if the node is down or there if the node is crashed then that information will not be available at all okay so uh, and it is also very costly if you are storing yeah, all the information in a particular it is this is how it was earlier if you are storing all the information in a particular node 
in the form of the database okay this node will be highly efficient node like high end node high end means with higher configurations and all okay uh, this node will be high end and it will be costly also it will not be uh, uh, cheaper okay it will be costly so affording this kind of uh, um, and it will not be reliable also reliable in the sense when once the node goes down that the information you cannot retrieve it so what they have come up is we divide the data between so the, the nodes which are used in the used as servers in the big data in the distributed architecture will be of a commodity servers commodity servers what they say is cheap servers uh, cheap means cost uh, less costlier than the one which we are using for the traditional one okay so here also you will have a doubt like say for example one worker node goes down or one slave node goes down then how the data will be uh, that data will be lost right logically that is the reason we are going for uh, distributed architecture so what will happen if the worker goes down or the slave goes down so there is a concept like a replication replication happens in replication in the in the sense say uh, in in 120 uh, say for 1000 MB of data the first 100 MB I'm storing it in the worker one or slave one okay that will also be stored in worker two okay don't worry it may be like bits and pieces but uh, we will relate it finally okay it will be you you will be able to relate it finally don't worry now sorry this mouse is not proper and uh, this will be replicated in three nodes by default okay so even if one node goes down worker node goes down the data will be present the same data will be present in another two nodes okay at the maximum you can think like two nodes has gone down then you, they can retrieve the result or they can process the uh, data from the third node okay so in traditional also you can have a multiple nodes you can have a replication replication you understand no if say uh, the data which is present in node 1 you can put it in node 2 also and also in node 3 also okay guys that is what a replication is say for example if here the word Hadoop is present it will be present in this one also copying and put it in another machine same like how we copy the files and put it in another folder no likewise copying put in three replications three uh, copies will be there in each nodes traditional or traditionally also it is possible in traditional databases but the thing is again you have to you will be storing the complete information okay in each of the nodes so that is not a feasible one and also it is uh, very costly okay the service i told it is very costly if you take like a uh, oracle databases and all uh, the oracle databases were traditionally sql databases only right or uh, this uh, rdbms databases or sql databases um, sql is structured database rows and columns will be there okay so those servers if you want to install in your enterprise or in your company will be very costly you will know it if you have worked in the enterprises it will be very costly but whereas this ones this worker nodes or the uh, uh, nodes which are used in the distributed architecture of big data or commodity commodity means less uh, see normally in our nodes itself you can put it okay with the more number of hard disk uh, the size of the hard disk you can increase it and you can add it into your um, distributed architecture in your uh, distributed setup okay so that is uh, that is the reason they have gone for divide and conquer divide and conquer means the data is distributed data is divided and stored in different nodes that's why processing will be happening in different nodes and you will combine the results is this slide okay guys so how the big data they are going to work on with the architecture still we will see furthermore the distributed architecture is the data will be divided and put in different nodes there will be distributed is master slave architecture there can be one master and multiple slave machines the slave machines stores the data data means any files text files or streaming data or video data or unstructured log data all or data only or your message social media messages or your uh, 
sense our uh, information which is captured weather informations okay radar information camera informations nowadays it is iot is there no that is all all data only okay it is not small amount but huge all will be present in in the sleeves okay is this okay this slide if it is boring tell me we'll go further on it's okay can i move on okay so that's when the architecture of hadoop i mean that's when hadoop has come into picture to work on with a large huge amount of data and the solution for working on a huge amount of data is hadoop it is a top level project okay first it is started in google itself by two people it is there here like a uh, dog cut, uh, cutting and uh, michael j kefrella they have uh, developed a search engine nudge okay and after that uh, okay it is not in uh, yeah, google it is in yahoo yahoo okay not in google google developed gfs that is google file system that way they can all they will also call us as, call it as big file system okay and after that it is moved by it is taken over by the apache software foundation okay what is this apache you anyone can say what they do they release all the softwares open source softwares they maintain it okay uh, and they maintain the source codes also this is a kind of a foundation where you can develop your own project and if it is acceptable in the market then you can go and give it to them so that they will help it to distribute it okay it's kind of a distribution distributors and uh, others can use your software download it and use your software they also may provide the maintaining maintainability for your uh, they will also handle about your releases and all those things single person also can release any software this is like uh, uh, this two people have come up come up with a search engine right like nudge search engine likewise each individual if it is widely acceptable then they can go and approach uh, uh, apache software and ask them to give the support for maintaining and for distributions okay <clears throat> so it is a top level project it is open source you can download it okay uh, and it is reliable reliable in the sense as i told it is a distributed distributed events copy will be present in multiple nodes and it is a scalable scalable in the sense uh, you can add thousands and thousands of slave nodes okay slave nodes is master and slave nodes i am told right master will we cannot say it controls but it has the information about the one to any number of slave nodes hundreds you can easily add in the existing uh, setup okay say for example your company is having a setup of uh, one to ten slave nodes okay and uh, if you wanted to uh, extend it uh, extend it they can easily add the nodes okay the master will have the information about where the data is present uh, in the slave nodes it is a distributed computer Computing. computing happens in each of the slave nodes okay parallelly okay at the same time you can start as i told in a single cpu the task will not start at the same time task means you are clicking the microsoft word word okay and you are clicking powerpoint and you are clicking some other applications every application if you click it will come one by one only even then even you will uh, start the clicking one by one right it will take every task will execute at least uh, one by one one at a time okay it will not uh, run parallelly they say intel process parallel processes are there even then pro parallel processes are there in your cpu but even then one task will be uh, happening at one time with the switch itself you can see you can move to one application to other application right when when you are in word and you are typing something then that is 
that will be have that will that process will be having the higher priority then if you switch to word uh, like a browser then that will have the higher priority so any time only one task will happen in your cpu when it is a single machine okay so and it is mainly used for the data storage so this is the uh, like a picture okay you can imagine like this is how these are all like a uh, servers uh, this is the rack they will say Okay, they will call this as a rack where they have a multiple servers, servers like nodes. Each are connected by the network. Okay, there, there needs to be network. Wire is there. All this thing will be connected by the network. In a complete rack, there can be multiple servers. This one, two, three, four, something like that. So many servers, they can add it. Okay, they can add it and they can remove it easily. It is a likewise so, so easy. It is a flexible, okay, flexible and highly available architecture for large scale computation and the data processing on a network of commodity hardware. Uh, commodity hardware, as I told, it is a, C, a cheap hardware. So hardware in the sense of these the servers they are talking about or the nodes, okay, which stores information. Okay, and it is highly available, highly available because we will have, have a replication of the data from one node from one node to the another node. Okay, so furthermore, how to process big data with a reasonable cost and time? No longer to need something is there. How do we process it? We will have a distributed architecture. Using that we can process the data. So with this big data, you don't have to worry the where the file is located, how to handle failures, data loss, divide computation, and how to program for scaling. What they are saying is the architecture itself, the Hadoop architecture itself, uh, has the um, intelligence or the uh, logic of finding where the data is present okay when you pass a search query you are not going to worry about where it is present because google has to worry about it. and this since they have if they have they have installed hadoop they are using the hadoop uh, infrastructure okay if they are using that hadoop uh, ecosystem or infrastructure then uh, that machine itself we will find where your data is present and it will fetch and give it to you it will do the processing of the data also there and it will give and give you the results see when i say processing processing you can see the difference okay uh, see when i say search query search query will be like searching the data in a particular server and giving the results when i say processing uh, what does it mean it means like uh, every time in a google you keep giving hadoop 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 and it will give all the related results right as I told that day those those are done using processing okay there is a related results of this uh, uh, Hadoop name uh, is coming to you and even if you search in your um, uh, the videos the uh, YouTube videos which are all related to that search it is uh, it is bringing up the result and giving right so internally what is machine learning logic machine learning logic or something some processing is happening internally in the servers right that's why i say it as processing okay then how to handle failures and data lost those all also taken care by the hadoop itself so with this infrastructure with this hadoop ecosystem you don't have to worry about any of this like how the computation happens or how you can scale your number of servers adding priorly okay any doubt anything you want to ask till now shall i go ahead okay i'll go ahead probably the search engines if you remember it i remember seeing this way like it will be like this like uh, when you somebody who's uh, new to uh, web development we will create uh, this type of forms right it will be like this like uh, you will select the word and they will also ask you to give a proper keywords with the plus concatenation then it will give the proper search result so earlier 1996 the search engines were like this each word we have to we have to specify from where which server it has to look also we will mention it like north america or india likewise the region 
okay but now it is all advanced okay earlier search google search engine were like this if you remember it it will not give us the uh, predicted results like if we say hadoop hadoop training hadoop uh, tutorial uh, or the videos nothing it will give right it will give only uh, based on our search whatever the keywords which we press which we type now it is like this one okay and from 2013 onwards it is like this one okay and um, okay what they are differentiating is in uh, earlier it was like the data were not huge but they have a complex algorithm to work on those small data now it is select technology has improved and the algorithms are also algorithms you understand no the algorithm is like the steps to find out a solution okay so that also has become simple and you can apply to a large amount of data and you can get the results this is how it has advanced so the Hadoop developers are these two people and it you will uh, by now know like uh, how the name Hadoop came you remember my sequel Mike came from the person's daughter name he kept the name for my SQL my as his daughter's name likewise Hadoop anyone knows how the name came Hadoop Come on, speak up. Hadoop is again his son's pet, uh, not pet, toy. Okay, toy elephant. His son was a dog. Uh, cutting his then he his son was having a toy elephant he was playing with that and they, they were developing all this um, uh, architecture file system okay that time they were thinking which name they keep to keep they kept the name Hadoop okay Hadoop is the uh, elephant uh, name it's not an elephant it's a uh, toy okay which he was playing with that he kept he named his toy as Hadoop and this person also has named this um, uh, ecosystem or the architecture as Hadoop itself okay so Hadoop is the uh, distributed file system architecture okay it's supposed the distributed file system architecture so I hope you understand the file system is like like in our Linux we have the file system right file system like it will start from slash home nylight and also in our windows it will start from d drive inside d drive it goes to each and every folder slash slash everything so that is the file system tree structure linux file system is also open source open source means rather than having this type say we will the original file system will be where something like ww and html likewise or nowadays we are seeing like home nylight and in that documents or downloads will where you know this is the file structure file system okay likewise hadoop the, they are going to store the files right so they have the hdfs hadoop distributed file system okay this is so this is the file system where they will store the data so it will be uh, we will create recreate this file system in our machine and we will see how it looks like they will have a root this is the root okay root and uh, if furthermore we can give the uh, directory and it will you can store your data likewise okay then what else is there okay so initially it was the google file system this was developed by all these people and later on uh, they have come up uh, with uh, um, with another uh, technology or the application okay which is a map reduce this is an application which works on your data to give a meaningful result okay simplified database data processing on the large cluster okay it will actually it is a map reduce uh, uh, functionality that it will do processing of your data which you have stored in your 
clusters they will say okay clusters i think all will mean it is not confusing it you can call it as a um, slaves slave missions or the cluster missions in hadoop uh, terminology we call it as a clusters okay cluster node one cluster node two the slave missions you call it as a clusters okay that's what you uh, this map reduce will do the processing it is a application okay that will do the processing of your data and give us the result how it does what it is everything we will see it later okay and the distributed storage system for the structured data and there were other applications also has come up this google has developed like uh, apache hbase okay this is to work on the structured data okay that we will see it later on just now you can understand initially it was the google file system and after that they have introduced the map reduce a functionality this is a very old functionality okay along with the google itself it is present it is still there okay what it will do it will process your data and give us a result how it does we will see that later okay and some hadoop milestones from how it started and how it is and now it is like that it has a, uh, the latest version is a, like a three dot hadoops latest version is three dot three dot four i think okay uh, till that it is there but uh, this has little old slides it has only information till now okay first uh, it to win some uh, terabyte sort information like um, the data which is stored in the hadoop right you can can be sorted one terabyte of a data in two not uh, nine seconds the time taken to comp uh, compile the data or sort the data that information they are giving it here and Avro Chauka becomes a new member of the Hadoop frame framework family okay this we will come back later this slide may not be uh, fine we will come back to this later okay before going to that i will show the framework the framework is like this initially uh, the hadoop has the distributed file system when i say hadoop it comes with the hdfs okay hdfs means a distributed file system what is the distributed file system is uh, your data can be stored distributedly okay not only in one server but in a different servers a file structure is given by this hadoop infrastructure that is the framework which allows you to store your data distributed okay so that is hdfs and over that it has a processing engine processing engine which works on your data which works on your data stored okay that is the map reduce okay it does the data processing and it also does the cluster cluster resource management cluster i say the master and the slave nodes together they call it as a cluster master and the slave nodes together they call it as a cluster after that the evolution it is like hadoop 2.0 in that they have the yarn okay yarn is a resource manager resource manager in the sense it handles it uh, manages about your uh, about your hdfs okay it's a, it's a management uh, one later on we will see in detail what is this yarn okay we will not work on with yarn but uh, we will understand what this yarn and all and on top of it the other processing engines along with map reduces also present okay only none ma one master for multiple slaves. yes one master for multiple slaves will be present that we will see it uh, like a master's uh, of each processing we will see it later okay then later on in hadoop 3.0 the version in the from the version 3.0 they have other processing units along with uh, um, uh, yarn hdfs and uh, map reduce okay they have a pig hive uh, other yarns hbase other projects also and h catalog okay um, uh, what are this like these are the processing engines they say see you take your data set okay as if you are taking the data set in your machine learning take a data set then in your hadoop framework what you will do you will put it in the file system okay hdfs the distributed file system 
same like how you store in your Linux some documents or some downloads you will store no like well you will put the data in your file system okay and then uh, it uh, then you do the processing using the engines like uh, map reduce or using the pig or using the hive okay these are the applications which work on your data and gives us the meaningful results i say like what kind of work it will do and all we will see it later say for example there is an female normally everyone will work on this example okay like word count word count means you are storing a text file text file containing some texts okay uh, say for example about nylate it is having it that information you will store it in your data this is not a database but in the hdfs we will see you store that data into that hdfs and from the file if you wanted to find the uh, uh, like uh, each word how many times it is occurring okay so that processing will be done by either map reduce program or by the pig or by the hive okay each are different applications okay each by each were developed by different uh, companies for their own purpose okay so we will learn all of this and it is h base it is an another database it's a kind of a storage how we can store uh, in a different way okay and we will also learn cassandra and we will also learn ambari we will not learn it and zookeeper and all we will not learn and about yarn so yarn is the resource manager resource managers means it will manage the uh, about the server uh, and the client that is the not a server and the client uh, like a master and the slave node it will manage it manage and it will also do the provisioning detail we will see it later now i could not explain it properly also um, i will tell you later on okay this is the evaluation of hadoop so it is a framework which consists of a distributed file system to store your data and it also has a logic to process your data so when i store when i say like uh, youtube uh, is uh, giving your interested results all the time it means youtube is stored in hdfs okay and map reduce is doing some processing based on your uh, uh, history of uh, um, viewing the videos and it always pops up the videos which is related to you okay so this is how it will be don't worry we will understand later on with examples and case studies you can easily understand okay so that's what here is how it is evolved from 2008 um, and then the project what all is added into the hadoop framework see the framework initially was with uh, only uh, hdfs and map reduce so then it is added with the resource manager and with the pig hive and other technologies also. other application i should not say technology other applications also that's what it is given here you can go through that Evro, Chauka. this we don't read it because these are all not much in, used in industries okay so we will not see that we will see hbase hive pig these projects and zookeeper also we will not uh, zookeeper with uh, uh, spark we will read okay we will do that one and uh, uh, and from 2018 the releases have were been going on ambari is the provisioning uh, framework you can say like you can uh, use ambari and to configure the hadoop framework okay and cassandra mehut mehut are all added okay each are developed by different for different purposes it is developed we will see that later on okay about the structure and unstructured data i will show one thing Okay. My my log file is visible to you all right?
see this you will click this is a one of the log files okay log files is it is uh, storing some information which has happened in my machine okay like um, anywhere you can uh, read uh, like any server is there they will normally log the files uh, log the information so that if any error happens they can go and check where the error has occurred okay so when you see this file it has some timestamp information it is all having that a worker uh, loading available some informations are there see if you see this this looks like a structured data because it is in every line it is going to have a timestamp style sorry this is visible right in every line it is going to have a timestamp timestamp information it is having this worker information some loading available that information and info uh, some word is there and this one and it always is separated by the hyphen and uh, some some other information is there and dot trying to read trying to update uh, some information is there. So this looks like a structured data. What you can do this type of data you can store in your database. You can divide. Okay, you can have columns like now you understand no column. You can have a column like a timestamp column, worker information column. Okay, this is all easily segregated. Okay, by a delimiter. Delimiter you understand right? A delimiter is. A, and uh, the one which is separates from one information to the another information okay this whole line is separated by delimiter that uh, dot full stop and uh, timestamps uh, date how it is uh, separated uh, and uh, loading available gradle version how it is separated by a uh, open and a close braces info is uh, written in a capital letter and this one is uh, separated this line is separated by an hyphen so you can easily load this data into a rows and column you can have a column for the timestamp date and timestamp worker information or this line and you can info line or error line this you can add it have a column and this line you can put it in a column this line also and trying to read trying to read or write so this is we can call this as a structured data which can be easily stored in your traditional databases okay so this kind of information will also come to your uh, for you to process it or for a company like a google or facebook or twitter or uh, any um, even the e-commerce is okay for them this kind of information can come like the person has ordered all the person are going to order the same way so the information is a structure the other type of data i can say like this one this is not structured also at all this is also a log information okay see how it is containing it is having some session started this is error information okay like from eclipse build all those things how do you can process this data you don't know where it will start sometime it is starting from an entry and closing it here entry and some other error information is present java.lang.error information and this is very tedious to store in your database right so this kind of information how we can handle we can use this kind of architecture like uh, this is one kind of a uh, big data structure right we are saying like structured and structure semi structured data so this you can call it as semi structure also because every entry you can read through the data analyze the data saying like the entries and every time an entry comes then you can put that in a one uh, one information okay start of the entry you can think like this is one information start of the entry this has one information and this has one information and also it contains error information so where the error comes that we don't know one other type also i will show it is opened So if you can see this uh, log file, it's an error log file. It is having uh, some structured information, then unstructured information. Okay. Likewise, it is there some other information. So this is one of the examples of the unstructured data. These are the uh, XML tags. Okay. XML, if you come across, these are the XML tags. Then it comes, 
structure information and some array information and some log information log means some statement messages so this is unstructured data no so you cannot store this in the traditional databases this i am showing it just for the example of what is the structured and unstructured data so we go back to our slides in that slide we were saying about this one okay so hadoop what is an hadoop is an open source framework supports data intense in, intensive distributed applications licensed under the apache version okay and this this is not a proper uh, definition that other definition which we have seen you can look through that anyway nobody will ask what is uh, hadoop uh, they will ask more internally okay than hadoop you can say it will it's a framework to handle um, large huge volume of data which are of different formats that you can see it then it is an abstract and facilitate the storage and processing of large and uh, rapidly growing data sets rapidly growing data sets means uh, it need not be a uh, confined data it is like uh, there only there can be only 1000 megabytes of data will be present not not like that it can be live stream the data can keep increasing and you can start keep processing the data also okay so it is it also handles a structured and unstructured data simple programming models are applied in that so a structured data what they say is the data that has a no inherent structure and stored in different type of uh, types of files like text files pdf images and videos those are all unstructured data and the quasi structure is a text uh, textual data with error erratic uh, data format it means it contains errors okay web click uh, click stream data that may have some inconsistency in the data values and formats okay it may contain errors okay so if you send a google format and uh, somebody is uh, type for age you are asking the age of a person and he is typing like uh, uh, 15 in words or he is typing like uh, his name into the age those are erratic information right error information so those are all quasi structured semi structured is so one example is xml or xml files and uh, or the one which we have seen okay structured is completely structured where you can uh, store the data in your traditional databases easily okay hdfs is a file system it is not a database okay uh, hadoop distributed file system is a file system your file will be divided and stored not like a in a database format rows and column formats so data containing a different data type format structure is this one mostly it is used in the transactional data in olap and oltp this we'll see later on what is olap oltp we will not work on this okay olap is online analytical processing okay o uh, o oltp is a transaction processing see this is what they will do in banking transaction okay so we cannot store those banking information those are very sensitive informations for working on with bank informations on all uh, traditional databases okay will be useful and those are structured data also okay banking information this is online transaction processing this is online analyzing processing like ebay and all those things will come into analysis this may not be needed you can google through it what is in detail if you want to learn okay so unstructured data no definite structure same thing it is a repeater okay cannot tabulate it you cannot put it in rows and column format it will not have a fixed schema schema can anyone say what is a schema we say database we say schema what is a schema schema is yes, the definition uh, you can give it say we create tables right we create while creating tables we give uh, what the id should be of type and what the uh, name should be of type and wage address everything to be of type we say no that is the schema okay the definition of the table you cannot define the unstructured data at all we, because we saw a log file right how it look like some structured data was there 
and uh, some structured data was there this you can segregate it in rows and tape columns date date time stamp you can give and you can give the complete information in another column but afterwards it is suddenly coming with uh, array information then you cannot read this file right you cannot store this file into the database okay so you cannot create a schema you cannot give a structure for this file it will be tedious so that is what you cannot have a schema fixed schema for the unstructured data so how to handle all those data see if you imagine if you wanted to put a log file kind of this one into your database what you will put directly you can put the file create a column file name put this file only into that right complete file itself into that column value you cannot segregate it it and reading passing these files are very tedious okay that can be handled in the hadoop infrastructure because we store the data as files itself okay and semi structured is the data which is in between structure and semi structure is a, one of the examples is xml files xml file if people have come across it will have a tags and a properties a xml file have people come across HTML file have people come across like um, we write if you are developing web pages you will write HTML pages right okay that is the point like uh, you will open a tag uh, HTML this is a one tag and it will close by another tag right and you will have a head here body sorry I could not write body here in this okay um, this is kind of a uh, semi-structured data they are saying it so xml files also it will have a tags okay starting from xml okay uh, and xml see xml files contains a properties okay uh, configuration we will do with xml files only we'll do all the configuration in xml files only these are this can be used as a configuration files say in hadoop when you are uh, installing you will change the configuration of the xml files so that the in the engine or the processor will read from this configuration file and it will execute all your queries and all likewise okay so XML is an unstructured, semi-structured one. It means it has a little structure also and it will have a, uh, no structure likewise also. Using tags and all or some schema, it can use it. Those we can call it as an XML file. I'll show you, right? Okay. Anyway, if you are from computer background, you might know it. Otherwise, I will show you, okay? Then example, they are giving it with, you can enforce some structure to it, to the um, to some files then it is we can say it as a semi-structured file okay okay the goal says like we need a high scalability and availability machine because every not only from you are the only person you are passing the queries at a time no at the same time many people will be passing the queries then all to be processed right so we need a, a scalable and a available highly available machines and you need is commodity software commodity hardware so that uh, with the help of a little redundancy you can uh, avoid using a large uh, service with uh, costly servers and if it one goes down also other can take up and do the processing for the data and uh, fault tolerance uh, that's what fault tolerance is like uh, you replicate the data between uh, nodes then one nodes go, goes down the other will take into uh, come into consideration okay uh, we will see in detail uh, like what all store where all store everything we'll see okay then more computation rather than data more competition rather than data what they say is i say keep saying right slave machines will have data okay master will have the information about where the data is present okay mm, i think that we will i'll explain it later actually the processing happens in the slave machine processing means the search which we are giving okay that will happen in the slave machine only not it will not in the master machine okay that's what they're saying don't worry if you don't understand also we will see that later on okay so this is the pictorial representation you can see that this i have explained so ecosystem is like when you whenever you install hadoop or whenever you say that you have a 
Hadoop ecosystem or environment in your setup, it will have the H, uh, it will be having the distributed file system, okay, to store your data data set, and over it it will run the yarn also to manage the resources. The resources are like a slaves and the uh, masters master okay it will manage it and on top of it you will have the application running to process the data in your distributed file system like map reduce or pig or hive okay we will start off with the map reduce itself okay this is the architecture so this this is like a provisioning ambari is like a provisioning uh, uh, node okay what is that provisioning node is like um, see uh, we can add multiple slave nodes right we are saying like we can add multiple slave nodes to the master so this uh, slave nodes also has to be configured to run in to sit in the ecosystem right in your environment in that cases you have to configure the slave nodes uh, to work as a slave of the Hadoop ecosystem so those configuration those provisioning that's they call it as a provisioning okay provisioning of nodes that is managed by the Ambari it is like a GUI okay GUI graphical user interface there itself it will list how many slave, slave nodes are there how many I mean what is the master node what are the information master node is storing and what are the information where the slave node data is present every information you can browse through the uh, network um, in ambari um, gui itself okay it is also a node okay rather we go to our terminal and configure all our configurations right that you can do it in ambari itself okay now we will not see ambari but uh, that if you are interested after understanding installation then you can go and download this will you will put it in a node node in the in the sense server machine and you can run it okay rather configuring from the terminal you can configure from the gui gui in the, you understand no graphical user interface it's like a graphical user interface okay this all we'll see in detail one by one so our ecosystem means you need a, uh, a java okay java 8 will only work with hadoop only it is tested you can google through it which ecosystem hadoop will work on properly hadoop is written in java okay and a java 8 you need java 8 to be installed in your ubuntu so that hadoop will run hdfs will run on it or map reduce jobs or tasks will be you can run into that okay till now any doubts guys so you can be able to relate right what is a big data so why do we need a hadoop infrastructure to work on your big data okay how are the datas in the big data then what all datas you can call it as a big data what are the five v's okay and um, okay tell me is till now it is fine then i will show with the installation steps you can open your machine also everyone please open your machine do the installation along with me configuration along with me all right others please tell we will see okay this will be like bits and pieces once we keep going further we can relate everything and you can have a confined uh, uh, knowledge about this okay So I request every one of you to open whoever is uh, logged in your mission, okay, in your laptop. Okay, open the VTE, do the installation along with me, okay. Then it, uh, do the configuration because um, more or less every configuration will look like that. But any errors come, no, we can rectify it and move on fast because I don't want you to lag sit in hadoop installation only and not move to pig not move to hive and all okay many installation we will do so everyone start doing installation along with me if you are not doing it now do it by end of the day, end of the day okay or do it by tomorrow complete it so that uh, i do a pra uh, do any program you also do it likewise it will go okay just a moment
please open your vt lab i will open that um, slide also i have shared whichever i have shared so single node installation we will do cluster node installation we will do it in the as this next part okay so single node installation means in this uh, we will have the uh, this it is a distributed architecture right so it will have a master and slave running in the submission itself okay multi node means uh, so in a single machine master and slave will run in multi node means we will have a master running in one machine and slave one two slaves we will configure slave one and slave two running in another machine okay so uh, master we have in your vte you have a three machines right it's the vte that's why we have given three machines for you all so that you can have a distributed architecture okay i have to close this and open oh yeah we have three missions right master slave one and slave two so now i will show how do you configure master on single node only okay so this master itself acting as slave also after this after this installation we'll go to multi node where slave and slave two will be there okay in hadoop infrastructure how it will work data are stored in slaves okay and uh, uh, master will not have any data at all master node in hadoop we will call it as a name node and a slave nodes we call it as a data node you can easily rem remember data node means a data data will be present in the data node master node does not store data master node saves with, with they say like metadata information metadata information means data metadata means data about data okay that is the definition for metadata it means where the data is present it will have the information like i said like 1000 mb of a data if it is a divided into 100 mb where that uh, first 100 mb is present that information will be present in master node master node will not store data okay that uh, for time being we will understand that okay i'll go to that um, this one okay here so we'll do installation we need the uh, java standard edition 8 because uh, hadoop is tested and run in java 8 on dot 8 okay other versions uh, they uh, it is throwing error it was giving error it will give error even if you have a java 11 now hadoop may install it will work but when it comes to hbase no it will throw error when we are doing hbase installation and all it will throw error so we will have it now itself 1.8 okay so um, we will update it we will, if we don't have a java 8 in your set up then we will download it likewise this we know right uh, download and install open jdk i am just going through the slides then after that what we have to do we have to change the environmental setup same like java home we set it likewise sorry likewise we will set the uh, uh, set in our ubuntu also okay then ssh ssh you know right in order to connect between the machines you have the you have gone through the theory ma'am can be can this be done in one laptop in my laptop um, sir you have a ubuntu install in your laptop you have the virtual machine you have a 8 gb ram sir Sixteen GB RAM. Oh yes, nice. You can you can install there itself. First, uh, you will have one setup, right? Only one uh, Ubuntu will be in there. No, that you can use it. Yes, single node cluster. You can put it there. Sir. You can have it in your laptop itself. Okay, and then SSH. You have uh, come across the theory part, right? Uh, practical i will take uh, theory part in that ssh is used to connect a secure shell um, host that is used to connect between multiple machines okay uh, use securely 
securely means uh, uh, not like anybody when you are tra transferring data from one machine to, if there is a secure connection established between one machine and another machine transferring data between these two machine are will happen securely because nobody will tamper it when you are transferring the data like a file transfer protocols will be there that also used to transfer using secure shell also you can do that okay i am stuck with a java home configuration i have typed but i have how to see we will see that sir i will show it one by one step okay we'll see that okay sudo apt update we will do and actually this is to install your uh, secure shell uh, uh, secure shell host okay that server if you install it then you can transfer the data between this between nodes okay securely why we have to transfer data here because this is distributed right so many nodes servers and nodes will be there so you have to transfer the data node to the data nodes data nodes is the slave nodes where your data is present that's the reason you will uh, have a uh, transfer uh, protocol okay to transfer the files that for that we are using SSH which will do secure transfer okay secure connection it will provide to transfer data okay this is we will download it and we will make the configuration in bash RC file and these are all configurations that we will do one one, one by one okay don't worry about what is this I will uh, uh, explain in detail about all these things like um, the core site the map reduce site everything uh, in the further classes now we first we will install and keep it okay guys we'll do it right we'll continue now itself right please do reply okay Okay, then I will go to my machine. Yeah, I'm, even I'm going to install it now itself. Got stuck in Java Home. No problem. We'll do it. If you want me to stop also, I will stop and wait. Okay, once if we done this, then we can easily move further. Otherwise, uh, you people will not be able to work on. That's why. Okay, I will enlarge this. This is my terminal. Font size is fine, right? So, in my terminal, Control L. Okay, I'll open. Uh, okay, this is fine. I'll close the others. Okay, so here first I will see my any my Java version is present. I have this Java. Why it is taking time? Yes, my Java is 1.8. Okay, build can be anything. Okay, but with the fixes they will have new builds. Build can be anything. Java 8 is there. Please check everyone. Java hyphen version. Java is present version is present I mean Java is installed in it news can you all check it and let me know if it is there or not Prakash do it uh, Saura we can also do Ravichandra can do Venkana Babu you also do it Mahalakshmi Amalan whoever is not from office please do it okay so what we have to change is bash rc file you know right about bash rc file vi i think this is also shared i'm seeing that ppt only and doing it okay uh, bash rc file you know how to open it right slash this please tell me whether you know it or not otherwise i will not tell This hive this tilde slash dot bash rc. Okay, if you open that file, it is very slow today. Today it is slow. 
anyway we'll wait till it opens uh, that uh, I will tell you later on Mahalakshmi tomorrow maybe there is a command to change it I forgot it I'll tell you It's not opening at all. This bash RC files, no, like environmental variables, we set it. When you have installed the Java Ho Java, that time we set it here itself in the command line. So in order to permanently reflect the change, it will always to be present. Then you can edit this bash RC file. Same like in our uh, Windows, there will be edit environment files. Um, that option is there, no, likewise. So when you um, save this. Uh, when you write in this bash rc file and save it this will be always reflected you don't have to give it every time okay yes do it that we will change no problem Java version we will change it. It's not opening at all for me. Ah, uh, yeah, it opened. So this is the file. It will have many things. You go to the end of the file. Okay, end of the file. This is the end of the file. It is already having some configuration information. So what you will do is you will type these two. Okay, Java Home slash USR LIB. Okay, this path. You no, know, where you can get it? Where the Java JVM is installed? Okay. So what I will go? I will go and show you where you have to write. Okay, pwd cd slash where I forgot that user lib jvm. This path uh, will be where your Java is installed, so that you will give it vi. Okay, not this cd shift insert user lib jvm if you see there will be your java a a a m d 64 this is the architecture name okay m d 64 os architecture so in this 1.8 11 also will be there but i have minus overridden by 11 so that's why it is giving 1.8 when i gave java iphone version so this path till this path you have to give it in the java home Okay, you can open the slides and keep it with you. You can just copy and put that those two lines. Okay, it is there in the slide too. In the PPT slides, here it is. Java home till 64 and path, path you will provide till bin. Okay, it is to mention which path it has to take. Okay, if you don't give this, Java will not understand where its library are. If you are running, writing some program and running it, it will not understand where its libraries are. Because uh, I told, no, like um, uh, uh, java.lang.object um, class, where it is present, a language uh, package, where it is present, it will not understand. That's the reason we have to mention, put this in the environmental variable. Okay, guys, this step is done. Export Java underscore home. And then this one you have to put. Java home is where the JVM is present and the path is still the libraries bin. Okay, this this one you hope understand it. This is like a uh, dollar Java home. Java home is what? This one. Right. It is just to replace it. Rather than replacing, we are using the variable name directly this dollar path also we are using maybe somewhere they have given the path information we will append it okay colon append it with the existing path okay is this done tell me okay once this is done then
then come out of this come out of this every time you make a change in the bash rc file you have to source that okay this is the command to source it uh, tilde dot slash bash rc we have to source the source it so that the changes will get reflected okay if you don't source it it will not be taken by the machine okay machine will not understand where it is present so it is necessary that you source it okay enter you can echo and check it also echo the variable the variable is java underscore home the variable name is java underscore home right which we gave in the bash rc file that you can echo and check echo means it will print the variable output right the output it is printing okay you can echo the path also dollar path path is the variable name see it is having so many paths along with this we appended the this one bin right that's why we have appended that one if you see sorry source vi see here path we have appended along with the java home fine till now it is fine source it okay after editing the bash rc file source it after this we will download the hadoop okay directly will download we will not take it from the mirror okay because if it is a huge file no when we try to take it from the jit jitub i don't know but from mirrors right it may break so we will download it from uh, internet itself uh, i am open the internet then you can give uh, uh, apache or hadoop apache hadoop Uh, downloads for Ubuntu. Okay, for Ubuntu you take it. It will be a tar.gz file. Okay, Ubuntu. Okay, Apache Hadoop. Download for Ubuntu. Enter it. Anything you can give. Just download Hadoop. Okay, see if it is coming like uh, downloads the official website that is hadoop.apache.org their downloads is there no ah, okay i will take it slow okay okay so bash rc file you edit it edit means directly you can give the path i'll open it Let me know once we done. Why in VI editor I'm not able to type capital? Uh, you can type it, sir. Can you share it, sir? Solved. How did you solve? How did you solve, sir? okay sir. let me know once you have done this one okay don't type this one we will do that later on only java home will you do okay Can I move on? Prakash and uh, um, Roy, <coughs> right, sir.
exit from VI editor, escape it. Okay, same like uh, VI normally uh, we are saving, right? Escape colon in see escape. You have to press escape colon. See colon is coming down. Colon. You have to save and execute, right? W Q. Okay. Q is for exit and W is for write. You forgot Prakash and exclamatory mark or WQ itself will do. Okay. After editing, editing you will insert and edit, right? After editing, escape it colon WQ or if you put only Q, then it will not save it. Okay, colon WQ exclamatory mark enter it will come out of it okay prakash are you in the class prakash or are you connected from home? i didn't see you actually oh sorry actually you can come and sit here also if you want because I am connecting from my place. You can open uh, BT lab here itself. You want to come? You can come here. Lab is some awesome. next person is not here. Okay, I'll move on. Others have completed, I think. You can sit here. Okay, I think um, others have completed. Okay, we'll move on. Next. Okay, next is downloading the Apache. You can download, others can download and keep rather waiting. Okay, so uh, this you search. Okay, Apache Hadoop download for Ubuntu. Downloads will come. Uh, download. You can click this uh, uh, download link URL. In that, okay, there is these are the versions they have given. Okay, it is eight, the latest one, it 8th August 2021. We will not install this one, okay? Late, very latest, we will not take because we will, it is not uh, sure whether it is a stable release. Okay, if uh, any errors is there, then we will face that error. So, we will not install 3.3. 3.4 we will install july 22 this version this version okay 3.2.4 earlier for older classes i have installed 3.2.2 now we will install 3.2.4 okay guys please don't take this one because it may not be stable okay this is very lower though this is maybe stable version i think but we will take 3.2.4 okay uh what we have to do is um uh, yeah in the binary okay in the binary don't go source source is the source files it will have click on the binary and it will have a version okay see here tar.gz http tar.gz Okay, click on that. It will start download. It will take some time so everyone can download it. Okay, uh, search for Hadoop uh, um, downloads for Ubuntu. In that, go for 3.2.4 version, not the latest one. Okay, because it may break. 
uh, it may not be stable also we'll go one version below then it will work it is in constant development okay hadoop and uh, python programming also and um, other things are all constant developments the latest technologies so we will use the one version earlier because we are practicing only no that is enough so please download it and keep it Uh, Ma'am, can you show the bash rc file? Okay, for username group name which needs to be given. Uh, we don't need to change that, sir. For username group name which needs to be given. Now, now we don't have to change that. We don't change that. Okay, uh, we will use it as such. Username group name. I will in the configuration we will change it. We know. See, normally they will say you can have a separate username and uh, group name for Hadoop, but it's okay. We don't have to change it. Okay, that you can experiment it later and see with the same present username and group name itself. We can work. No problem because it is not a, a big setup, right? We are only using it in the our practice so this itself you can use but you can create a separate username separate group name you can create uh, permissions to uh, apply permission to that and you can say give that as a separate hadoop uh, environment itself okay uh, can you show the bash rc file okay i will show it where is that this is the one it is downloaded will yes it is downloaded for me ma'am i saved java home path but while giving echo java home it is not returning the path path it will not show dollar path if you give it will show sir path dollar path if you give it will show path 
dollar java home will go give only up to the uh, madam the username remember me is for that uh, sudo change a hive oh, okay that you are asking uh, hyphen r okay that one is uh, like um, nylate and uh, your uh, username will be nylate and uh, this one sir what i mean uh, here if you are using it will come can i come yes sir i can we come to that little later i'll tell you what it will be okay sir okay i hope everyone has finished in downloaded this one downloaded this uh, 3.2.4 right please reply mahalakshmi maria and saurav amlan prakash saurav i told venkana babu okay okay fine so i will go here then after the next step what we will do is we will configure the we will install the ssh ssh is in, down, installed if it is not installed it, it will show you it is not installed okay what i will do i'll go here sudo apt we will do an update and then we will install it apt get also you can give or directly update it is asking the password okay package is installed ma'am download is over but echo java home is not giving value sir did you source it source uh, source do, uh, tilde slash dot bash rc you have to source it sir then only it will show okay source you have to do otherwise it will not reflect okay i have done sudo apt update okay to get the latest package because i am going to download ssh server okay sudo apt get after that you give this command sudo apt get install ssh okay everyone give this command okay i i will in, enter it it will install mine it is not installed with ssh it is installing okay it is saying ssh is already the latest newest version okay type this command sudo apt ssh install then we will install the open ssh server also ssh hyphen server give this command so this server we will try to uh, to communicate between the nodes because server nodes will be multiple so we in order to try to communicate between the nodes we use this let me know guys whether you are following this done this one or not tell me this also i am doing it open ssh that is also in my machine present i think yours also will be present latest version uh, next one is open ssh server
okay once this is done so uh, we have downloaded the hadoop 3.2.4 right uh, what we will do is we will it will be once you have downloaded anything from the internet it will be in your downloads directory right we will go to there home nylet downloads okay so in as i told it is only configuration okay see this is the one i have downloaded it it is hadoop is only configuration we are not going to do um, any installation here okay that files will be there xml files that we will configure it then we can run the server okay so this is a tar file right we will untar it okay um, untar is command for untar is tar hyphen x z v f this command you people know oh, sorry where is it Think I missed that one. This command, do you people know? What does it mean? Okay, there is latest version. This is also there. I have taken three dot two. One minute, guys. There is three dot three dot tools also there. I will check it. Three dot three dot two is also there. Okay, I think we can take this. Okay, it is coming. I'll just check it. Three dot three dot two is it? Three dot three dot two is also there. This also we can take it. This is March twenty twenty two, and this is July twenty two. Okay, we will do with this only. No problem. This is July twenty twenty two. Okay, no problem. Okay, we will go to the steps. Now we will untar it. Okay, tar hyphen x is extract. Is it is um? Is it is why I forgot. V is verbose and F is the file name which we are going to give. So three dot two dot four I will give. Okay. Enter it. It is extracting tar hyphen x is at V F. And the Hadoop name, file name. Hadoop file name is three dot two dot four for us. Dot dot gz. Okay, it will extract all the files.
if you people want you can try with 3.3.2 also hadoop 3.3.2 because uh, it was not coming here to this also you can take it okay it is downloaded you can see it how it is there it will create a folder okay 3.2.4 today it is created an ls and lrt this one okay today july 12th or july 12th why it is coming like this i don't know okay this is the folder okay so what we will do we will change the name of the folder so that we can uh, use it easily in our configuration rather than 3.2.2 what we will do we will create a folder you go to cd slash see uh, uh, whatever we are work on uh, normally we will create any folders in your c drive or d drive right we don't put it in our main like in desktop or documents or downloads that's why that is not a good practice also so you go to user one uh, this location in this location we will have our files okay so, uh, user hadoop file okay local you go to slash user local you you also keep this one so that uh, configuration files when i put it upload it you no need to change it that's the reason okay cds um, slash user slash local in that uh, is there hadoop file is there i will remove this one we will keep it this one ls lrt see here uh, in this folder user local i mean c i mean pwd user local in this you make a directory make dir hadoop okay enter permission denied why it is permission de denied is this belongs to the root directory okay usr and all is belongs to the root directory so i will create a folder with a sudo permission sudo make directory hadoop it will create it later we will change the permissions everything okay is this a fine i have created now if you see that uh, this directory will have a hadoop folder in this hadoop directory will be there till now it is fine no i'm creating uh, Hadoop folder in user local. Okay. In, in into this we will copy all the files from the uh, documents. Here we have extracted no all the extracted files we will copy into Hadoop in this directory. Okay. No need to keep it in the uh, outside and the name also we will use Hadoop. Okay, guys. So what I will do, I will go to slash um, home nylight hadoop downloads it is there hadoop 3.2.4 only i have i have extracted i'll copy all these files okay star i will give a hyphen r hyphen r means recursively it will copy i will use sudo permission why because hadoop is in the root directory that's why to user local hadoop okay in here i am going to copy dot can you see the command copy hyphen r every uh, uh, recursively it will copy all the contents inside hadoop 3.2.4 into hadoop directory okay how to make hadoop directory permission denied sudo you have to give sudo uh, for that 
in the starting you give yeah sudo sudo will give the permission later on we will give the permission to it no problem After that, copy this uh, directory folders into that. Then right, please tell me. I will enter it. It will copy. It will take some time because a lot of files will be there. Okay. Now I'm in that directory only. Pwd ls. So it has all the things. Okay, bin etc cd bin ls cd etc okay all the configuration files somebody has something okay done oh, fine so now after copying you can go and see all the files in user local hadoop all these are there in the binary file no see the binary file it will have the configuration files okay sorry not in binary it is in etc Um, uh, inside Hadoop, it will have. See, these are all XML files. Okay, we can open and see how this XML file is there. Core site dot XML. So it is not having anything. The tags will start and end. It will have a uh, XML tags, some information about the file. Okay, XML file. Okay, we'll see this uh, later on. Before that. Uh, what is the other next step okay we will give up we will change the bs bash rc file again why because we have to give the uh, say where is the hadoop home install directory map it, other information okay each one of this information i will tell you later on but first we will finish the steps okay uh, we will, okay uh, before this also we can do this one okay what you will do we you are in slash usr local hadoop okay you are here in this uh, you make two directories here okay you have to make two directories for that you need a pseudo permission or else if you don't want to give pseudo permission then you can change the ownership okay we will do that sudo uh, make dir hyphen p because recursively i am going to make multiple directories i will show you okay usr uh, local hadoop 
Hadoop data it should be the same way say this is the same path like this I'm giving it for uh, you also but after this Hadoop data HDFS name node or data node and name node both name node okay this has to be same because of this we will give it in our configuration file also if you are giving different name then you have to give it likewise but now first time no so we are we will follow the same thing okay Hadoop data HDFS name node the whole thing uh, this the name node directory will get created recursively it create all the directories that's why we are giving hyphen p okay sudo make directory hyphen p the whole thing enter then similarly data node I told no data node and name node master node is called a name node and uh, um, slave nodes are called data nodes for both these things we are creating uh, file systems and nodes that I will explain later on don't worry now first we create a directory okay two nodes I have created data name node and data node please do this I need to go. Is this done? This node creation, you can see here, it will be there. See here, data, Hadoop data, um, Hadoop data is there, no? Hadoop data inside it, um, HDFS will be there. Hmm. Unless I can, in, if you go inside this, Hadoop data, HDFS will be there inside it if you go you will see name node name node and data node both are created fine then we'll give permissions to this okay after this uh, we'll change the permission for these nodes okay mm, sudo change mode see actually it will not have permission okay see it will be like a uh, execute permission is not there for the others right user group every permission we have to give so we will give it so that it will not uh, any problem while you're running the processing okay so all permission we will give 777 to which notes this one slash hadoop not slash hadoop hadoop because i am in okay i can give star itself okay i will show you where i am in i am in name node and data node is there so we will go above only okay change mode 777 hadoop hmm. hdfs name node okay i gave permission to that permission is denied fill put sudo and for data node also i will give permission actually to this whole uh, hadoop itself you can give permission but it's okay okay if you can see this inside hadoop data hdfs name hdfs it will have the permission we are able to follow this step see it is giving all the permissions or else you can give it like this also
sudo change mode 777 to usr local hadoop hadoop data hdfs and name name node okay or star also you can give star means for both it will give permission Permission changed ma'am. Okay, fine. Good. And we will change the ownership for all these things. Actually, ownership is that um, LSIFNLRT root root, right? That's the reason it is not giving. Uh, it is not allowing to change it. So, whole Hadoop directory itself, we will give root the whole directory. So, we go to user local. Okay. In that ls lrt Hadoop folder, no, it is was containing everything completely. We'll change the ownership to Hadoop itself, okay, for everything. So, what we will do sudo change ownership so that uh, uh, it will not ask uh, while you are running the processing uh, uh, root permission, it, it will not say it has root permission. I will change the username and pa um, username and the group name to hadoop okay here it is a root root right now we will change into hadoop itself to which folder hadoop folder okay uh, slash sorry hadoop okay i'm changing the permission to hadoop uh, username as hadoop rather than root and uh, group name also as hadoop to the folder hadoop okay guys so enter it it will change now you can see the difference it is changed to hadoop hadoop fine so if you go to hadoop directory and list it this also has changed to hadoop so now if you create i think initially only we should have changed the permission because we were using sudo sudo anything is fine anyway you can do that okay this is fine change the permission if you are not in that path you have to give the complete path absolute path that you know right if you are not in the current uh, working directory then you have to give the complete path why it is going here sorry 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 um Okay, something happened with my mouse, I think. Okay, once permission is given, now we will change again the bash rc file. Okay, vi, uh, some problem with my mouse, uh, this one, terminal. So showing invalid user. Okay, some problem, I will again log in, okay. Some problem it is showing, it is not allowing me to type. I will again log in. I'll sign out and log in again.
it is coming Okay. Okay, permission I will show. So CD slash USR. Okay, so I'll go here only. Sudo change ownership. I have to change. Okay, ownership to Hadoop we will change. Any name you can give guys, Hadoop I am giving because in the configuration files and all it will be easy. Okay, that's the reason. Uh, because we are going to do it together, right? That's the reason. Hadoop is the username, uh, user, um, yeah, user group, yeah, username and Hadoop is the group name also. And for which folder? Hadoop folder. Okay, where the Hadoop folder was present, that path I have to give, USR local. I, since I have given iPhone R, all the folders will change in, internally, recursively, everything will get changed. I know this one. Let me know. Change on invalid user Hadoop Hadoop. Uh, why it is giving like that? SU sudo you give no Maria. Even then it is showing error. Can you share your screen? Yeah, any one of you, can you share your screen? What happened? Some sir is okay. Sorry, sir, she's sharing. Include Adobe. I'll just check that.
Okay, you have to change mode. Okay. Just give me a minute, I'll just check it. Did you copy, copy the command and write it? Rick. First, I'm asking the control to you, Maria. Can you give?
everyone is facing the same problem or how is it And nothing is working. I will check this one. I think I'm not sure. I'm not facing this problem. Okay, that user is not present in the etc file, I think. That's the reason. etc. Okay, we need to use to add that user. That is not there. Okay, we need to add the user to the group. That's why it is giving this error. Okay, we will do that tomorrow. Okay, is that fine? But any time it didn't give any error for me before. Everyone is facing that error, right? Is it? Sir, Mary and sir, you are also facing the same error, no? Ah, then uh, you have to add the user to the... Okay, I will uh, give you the control. I'll share my screen. Sure. Actually, in my etc password file, this uh, Hadoop user is added. I think how it got added, I don't know. We have to add the user using user mode, MOD. You people know how to add a user? User and the group. Create a user and the group. If you know it, add the user group and then the user to it. That's the reason it is giving error. So add group, how you will do? You will do using sudo group add group name. Okay. 
likewise you will add a group right you know it or i will show it tomorrow otherwise what say guys please tell then ma'am ma please show wants to otherwise afternoon session if we can connect it if we can connect it okay we'll continue this installation and finish tomorrow i'll start uh, uh, again uh, check the this one my sequel okay afternoon session after your class we will connect it okay i will see that uh, adding the user because for me it is a defaultly it is coming so after your class we will uh, you finish the installation okay then we will continue next thing tomorrow okay now i will stop now it's been very late thank you all guys we will meet in the afternoon um, um somebody can give me the permission or i'll take it from here only many answers i'll try to add it and i'll see because i am not getting that error afternoon i'll show Okay, thank you all now. You can leave. Any doubts you can ask me. Otherwise, you can leave. வரும் <laughs> 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 போட்டோம் <laughs> 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 